Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome again to Linux Quest. I want to start this off by just saying thank you to everyone in the Linux Quest community and channel. Uh, we recently have surpassed 1500 subscribers and I've seen the channel really grow in a way I never expected, at a rate I never expected. And I think a large part of that is because of you, the viewers, the community that's uh, evolved around Linux Quest. I've managed to make new friends, lots of new friends. And I've just seen a community where people are there helping one another and sharing information. And it's just been fantastic. So I think that, you know, you, the viewer, uh, is the reason that the, the channel has done so well. And so I truly appreciate that. Appreciate you sharing and liking and subscribing and all of those things. So um, look forward to sharing other videos and, and making new friends along the way. So again, thank you very much. All right, well today I have a new version of Gecko Linux. So about five weeks ago, I did a video on Gecko Linux. And if you're new to Gecko Linux, it is a spin of OpenSUSE. Now it has three distinct advantages over OpenSUSE. But before I get into those, I'll just tell you that this new version is called Gecko Linux Plasma Next. And what's new about it is that it has the latest uh, version of KDE Plasma 5.8 as the desktop environment. So let's talk about those three major advantages. Number one, it's a very small download. It's under a gigabyte versus the 4.7 gigabyte download that you would have with the full-on um, OpenSUSE. It is also uh, it also comes with a um, a live installer and that is one of the issues for someone who maybe just wants to give it a try in that the full OpenSUSE 4.7 gig download can only be installed there is no live installer unless they've recently changed that um, if they are I'm not aware of it but that would be a deterrent for some people in wanting to try it and then the third advantage is Gecko Linux comes with most of the major desktop environments so you can get XFCE, Mate, GNOME, KDE and in this case with Gecko Plasma Net, Gecko Linux Plasma Next you've got KDE 5.8 so here we're this is based off of OpenSUSE Leap 42.1 with again KDE Plasma version 5.8 now I know that 5.8.1 has been recently released uh, but this gets you as close as you're going to get, I believe, in uh, OpenSUSE or an OpenSUSE base. Let me put it that way. Now, I was a little surprised here. You've got a kernel version of 4.1.31. So, you know, that's a fairly old kernel. However, what you have here, you know, OpenSUSE is extremely stable. You've got, uh, and again, for those of you not aware, OpenSUSE has a lot of technology from SUSE Linux, which is more enterprise focused. So you've got a lot of that technology that comes over. So for the most part, this is going to be your typical uh, KDE 5.8 experience. Uh, at cold boot, I checked the RAM usage and it came in right at 500, which is very good if you compare that to GNOME slash GNOME or you compare that to Unity or uh, in some cases even Mate. Um, you know, that RAM usage is very good. I find that the whole system works together well here. Uh, you know and you've got a very again a very stable base and for those of you new to OpenSUSE maybe this is the first or new to OpenSUSE slash Gecko Linux in this case um, one of the features that you'll find uh, OpenSUSE users discussing is YAST and so we're gonna log in here just so you can see this quickly so if you are new to this uh, YAST is a control center uh, and Control centers today are more prevalent in various Linux distributions, but when this first came on the scene, that was not the case. So this was really something that stood out for OpenSUSE, the YAS control center. So it lets you do things like control your software setup, uh, online updates, uh, hardware control, printer control, network services, and security, um, things like that. So lots of control here within YAST, and you know it's one of those things that has developed over time just to be an extremely extremely useful tool now your software management is a little different here there's no software store uh, so if again if you're new to this you're gonna log in well we've got a little KWIN closed unexpectedly that's the first time over two days I've had anything like that happen All right, we're gonna hide that uh, really and truly over two days this has been a flawless experience um, let's try this again here let's see what we got there we go 
So again, not a software store, but you would simply go in and do a search for your software, click accept and, and install that way. So from a user friendly standpoint, it's not as user friendly as say Ubuntu for example. Um, would I recommend this for a first time Linux user? Probably not. But if you're somewhat experienced with Linux and you've been curious about OpenSUSE, then Gecko Linux I think is going to be a great option for you. Uh, you'll be able to you know, try it in a live environment before you decide to install it. Uh, you'll get for the most part all of the features and functions of what you would find in OpenSUSE. Although I will say you're going to be missing some software which is a good thing. Let me, let me go ahead and minimize that, which is a good thing in my opinion because, again, it's a very small download. It's very quick and easy to install and set up, and the uh, full-on OpenSUSE can take quite a while to install uh, for the first time. So let's just bounce right through this real quickly here. You know, you're going to have your basics under graphics. Uh, scan like Gwen view things like that under internet you're gonna have Firefox Thunderbird for email you're gonna have uh, LibreOffice pre-installed for the most part everything you would need for a you know 97 percent operable OS is all here but again it's it's under a gigabyte in size so um, I really appreciate this for what it is it is a way for someone who enjoys distro hopping, trying different things. Maybe you've been put off by OpenSUSE in the past, again, because of the download size and the inability to boot into a live environment. And, uh, you know, so I uh, applaud Gecko Linux as a whole because it opens up uh, user experience for people to, to try what is really a, a long, been out there a long time, uh, very well established, very well supported from a security standpoint, from a uh, stability standpoint. Uh, it, it allows you to try all of that with, you know, from the OpenSUSE base, and uh, and you can try it out in in an easy manner uh, through Gecko Linux. So uh, the developer or or the person behind Gecko Linux, I'm not sure if he's a full-on developer, uh, but the person who created Gecko Linux. Um, you know, I applaud this work here and I appreciate what you have done because I think, again, it has opened some doors there for people to try new things within Linux that perhaps, you know, they would have never tried to experience before. So, just wanted to share this with you and I will put a link to Gecko Linux so that you can try out, uh, if you so choose, if you have interest in Plasma 5.8 and you've had interest in OpenSUSE, then this will be an easy way to try it. So uh, you'll scroll to the bottom of the Gecko Linux page and you will see the uh, link for, again, for Gecko Linux Plasma Next. So that is this particular distribution we just took a look at. And again, I'll have a link there so that you can try it out. All right, again, thank you so much for watching, and we appreciate you, and we'll check you later.